and hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we'll be talking about installing and creating our first project with meteor.js so let's just start off meteor.js we google it up here we go and we want to install it so let's go to get started which takes me to a gross website let's see here install there we go, install and learn. I'd prefer to go there and let's see here, install Meteor. All right, so you can use this. I'm going to skip this part. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm going to scroll down. And if you're on Windows, you will probably be following this part of the tutorial, but because I'm on Linux and if you're on Mac OS, you can just copy this curl command. And not this one, because this one has a specific release. We want the latest version of Meteor, so we're just going to copy this curl command. Now, in our terminal, we can just bomb this up a bit. We're going to paste that command, and it's going to install Meteor for us. Now, I already have a Meteor installation here, so it's going to remove my existing one and install a new one on top of it. While we wait for that, if you go to github.com slash webnetsu, then if you go to my repositories, you will see free repositories, not at the top, you might have to search for them. Meteor.js learning material, Meteor.js microblogging website, and YouTube projects. This one here has each tutorial listed out right here. So there's installation and just the project setup or the project creation. Here we have the actual project setup where we do all the important stuff. And you can log in, sign up, whatnot. And if you need a lesson order, it's always right here where you can check the lesson order and the biggest things that were done. Then you have the big project. This is the final project or the final product of the project. And you will see this right here. So if you need to know if a piece of code and your final product or project is missing, you can go check here. This will not include homework code. Homework code is for you to do. And then you of course have the YouTube project. So if you're following along with other YouTube tutorials, you might want to clone this one right here. And you will just see Meteor.js, here we go. So there are three repositories. If you don't know which one to use, just go with the learning material one. And here we need to enter my password. And there we go. So Meteor for me is now installed. Again, if you're on Windows, you might want to use Windows subsystem for Linux or install a little bit of a Linux partition on your system just to make things easier for yourself. But it is possible to get it to work on Windows. It just takes a while to get it up and running perfectly. Now that we have this, we want to create our project. So I'm going to create my project in Documents. And here I have a TMP folder. This TMP folder contains pretty much all of my temporary things where, which if they get deleted, it's not a big deal for me. You'll probably have a code folder, but here I'm going to go CD, documents, TMP. This is just terminal stuff. You just go to your documents, throw it in there if you need to. Now that I'm here, I'm going to say Meteor, create. And this is important. If you want to include TypeScript, which I recommend you do, you say dash dash TypeScript, and TypeScript is just JavaScript with better typing. So if you don't know what that means, it means instead of just having a piece of text, you have a string. Instead of having an integer or having a just number, you have a number type, which you can identify. You have objects that you can specify how they look on the inside. It's just much better for a scaling project. And in the project name, which you can just call tutorial or whatnot, I'm going to say Meteor Tutorial. Or actually, let's go micro blogging and that's on one line it may look on a different line but it's on one line you'll notice it created a new folder called micro blogging and now it is installing everything to that folder and there it's done so now i can go into micro blogging or even here and we can open up VS Code or any code editor of your choice whether it be sublime text notepad whatnot i just like VS Code I'm going to blow this up a little bit so we can see better. And here we go. So this is our basic project. You can open up your terminal in here by going terminal, new terminal. 
I do have a VS Code tutorial if you are not familiar with VS Code but want to use it. I highly recommend you go watch that tutorial because there are going to be a couple things that you might not understand if you don't use VS Code very often. And we're going to start from the bottom. So in a TS config, this is just TypeScript stuff. You do not even have to touch this. Everything here has been set up for you, so it should just work. The package.json, this is just all your dependencies. You can delete this, this, and this. All of those can be deleted if you don't want them. Same here, you can delete mo uh, mocha. We don't really need mocha since we don't use it because we're not going to be writing tests. This is not a tutorial on tests. I'm going to skip it completely. I'm going to delete the tests folder and make sure to also delete the test module down here. This tells Meteor where the test module is and we just deleted it. So we got to remove that from this here. And make sure you don't end this off with a semi with a comma. Otherwise it will tr tell you there's a trailing comma issue. Server. So this is on the server side of Meteor. You'll notice we do have a couple type errors, but they will be fixed in the next tutorial. And the server, all that's happening is on startup. So on the server startup, we are creating items in our database. So this links collection is a collection in our database, which contains fields. So in here, we're inserting data to it. And we'll cover this later, so it's not very important. And we're also just publishing data. Again, we'll cover that later, not important. Then modules, not important, imports. We have our UI, which contains our app. This is our main part of our, our entry point, if you will, of our app. So this is very important for you to know. We have a hello.tsx, which just shows a button that if you click it, it increments a value. An info.txs that just shows a bunch of information that is stored in the database. And in here in API, we just have some basic data about the collection itself. If you don't understand most of this, don't worry, we'll be covering it one by one in the next tutorials. In client, we have main.tsx, which just has a startup of its own, which just tells us, hey, we need to render our code here because we're using React, so it will automatically put our data here. If you don't want to use React, there are other options like Vue. However, I will not be covering them since I only know React. You have main.html and then your main.css where you can add some basic styling to your website if you wanted to. You don't have to worry about .meteor. This is, if you, the only time you really want to mess in here is if you're debugging Meteor stuff specifically, but we won't be doing that. All right, now that we have that, let's see and make sure it runs. So I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to say npm start. npm start, as you can see here, will just do Meteor run. And there we go, it started up. It started MongoDB for us. So if you don't have MongoDB installed, don't worry. Meteor will handle it for us. And in here, we just follow that link. Ah, my bad, it opens up in that one. Let's go here. And we just paste it here. And let's send this to two so we can see nice what's happening. All right. So we take a look here, we have a click me, which says how many times you've clicked it. This is very simple code. So if we go to UI, we go to hello, you see it's just a use state that updates every time we click it. And in this here, it's just links, it's an info. We get the links from the database and then we display it here. But again, we don't have to worry about this right now. All right, if you got to this point, you have installed and created a project with Meteor perfectly. And I will see you all again in the next Meteor tutorial.